everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's the Big Dreamster here. In today's video, I'm doing a story time video, the time that I broke my jaw and chipped my tooth. And this is kind of a little explanation. I don't know, a lot of you guys have noticed it. Maybe when I started to upgrade my lighting, my teeth kind of like doesn't show it anymore but in my old videos and when I film outside and like I'm kind of smiling you guys can see that one of my teeth is a little bit yellow and I honestly can't control that so I'm gonna go in to depth of why that is and what happened to like my mouth and the whole situation so yeah let's begin <laughs> so this happened when I was about I would say 11 years old 11 10 11 years old and I was basically at my day camp and I remember this day so vividly and clearly because this is one of the traumatic days in my life that I would never forget you guys it's just been it was just a horrible day and I kind of regret it happening but I mean what can you do you're a kid right so um it was about like four or five o'clock and that's the time that at my summer it's like a summer camp but then it goes into like a daycare during the day and then summertime it's like a camp I've basically been going there since I was a really really small little kid at the time of my day daycare since it was in summer um, I was supposed to get um, get picked up around like five six o'clock waiting on my mom or my brother to come pick me up my brother is seven years older so at the time he could like you know roam the streets by himself obviously I'm like 10 11 I can't I know this day and age I see seven year olds eight year olds walking by themselves to school and I honestly did not have the guts I will feel like the world is about the end someone's gonna kidnap me so I don't know how kids can do it nowadays but I honestly still keep a walk by myself to this day like something's gonna happen to me so um I had to wait for my brother or my mom to pick me up and no my brother was already there sorry he, he went to the camp as well I was waiting for our mom to pick us up and sorry my brother was at the camp at the time but he usually could walk me home just to the fact that our camp our daycare center was like right around the block like if our daycare is right here you just walk here and then you turn and our like our building is right there so it's just like what a two minute walk one minute if you're walking fast so um we were in like this like courtyard um where you get to play there's slides there's um people play uno um there's a garden it's like a seesaw this it's like a little mini park you know so I was out there playing and I saw like my mom coming and basically my this girl her name was Brittany I would never forget her name her name was Brittany and she was um she was African American she was a little bit heavy I don't like calling people fat she was heavy um bigger than my size and um she basically was one of those girls that always used to badger me I don't know why she would pick on me she never stated why but she would always pick on me and one day my brother was fed up so she like was talking to me and she was just saying all this mean stuff and like at our daycare center there's like a black gate and when you open a door it has like a ramp like a wheelchair ramp and then you can just walk wherever you want to go like it's just like a little um a ramp right here and then the rest is just open space you can just go up to the building so i was walking down that ramp while she was like talking to me and she pushed me i fell on my face fell on my jaw and i chipped my tooth and i started crying because it hurt like hell and i'm 10 11 years old who wouldn't cry i'm sorry um i'm not a punk but it hurts my brother pushed her and literally she started crying and I was just like I had never forget that day he like stuck up for me so my mom like rushed to me and then we actually like just rushed to the hospital um thank god thank god, thank god. <laughs> so we went to the hospital my jaw just needed to be like repositioned like you know crack <laughs> like you know what you see in the movies like when they just snap your arm back in place and then as far as my tooth my tooth was chipped and I was like crying like I was already self I already had low self esteem as far as the way people kept picking on me the way I talked and all this other crap so then I have a chipped tooth so um, I went to the dentist the next day 
and basically they repaired my tooth and during the time I guess since I didn't have like you know like you know the rich people insurance um the way I had like a low now I'm not gonna say I don't even know the terminology for it so I'm not going to like kind of mess it up try to like mess up words you know but basically they gave me like a low standard of something that could have been you know prevented for what I have right now so they basically replaced like you know the part that was missing and just like I guess they coated it with something so it becomes hardened and stuff like that and it looks like an actual tooth but it wasn't really a tooth you know what I mean some of you guys know what I mean if you had a similar experience if you had a chip, chip tooth before during that time as I was growing up I used to hate smiling my mom I would still smile because I was just a happy kid but I know in the back of my mind like when I see these photos I'm just gonna see like a yellow tooth and no matter how many times I will brush my teeth morning at night and um, in the middle of the day three times a day like it wouldn't nothing would happen nothing would work and as like time would go on it became more yellow and yellower like I look back on pictures and it wasn't that bad when I was younger but honestly I knew it was there because I had anxiety and self-esteem issues from it because I still remember that but now it's worse and um and my pictures on Instagram you wouldn't see it because I kind of like use Facetune to like whiten my teeth so you don't see that and um, now I have like these big huge beautiful lights where you really can't see it it's not reflecting on that as far as if I didn't have any lights at all um, you probably would see it and I don't know if I'm ready to show you guys that yet <laughs> obviously if I'm hiding it and masking it um, through photos and just whitening my teeth maybe because I want the photos to look more beautiful not that I'm not beautiful without it but I feel as though it just like gives that um a professional picture as far as like landing jobs and brands and stuff like that but it has like a huge part of my life and if that's something I will fix that's the only thing that I will fix and I'll be so happy about and I am um, I'm trying to like grind for you guys and produce videos so I can afford because YouTube is my full-time job so I just want to afford my teeth to be whitened. I know when I went to the dentist they said that um, it w my insurance doesn't cover that like it's really an, a hefty price for me to get my teeth whitened and I'm like uh, why so yeah it's like it sucks um a lot of you I know I used to hate and I still do hate to this day when someone asks me smile can you smile real quick and I already know like what they're gonna say like they trying to double check if they saw what they saw and then ask me why is it like that and when people ask that they be like can you smile and I be like no smile and I be like and they be like why why is you why is you want to one one tooth is yellow and I'm like I chip my tooth blah 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 and I have to tell the story all over again and um it kind of sucks and <laughs> I'm trying to cry about it um, but it does really sucks and I just wish that day never happened to be honest because I feel as though like I feel like everyone has that one deep insecurity that they would love to change about themselves here yeah so I don't know if you guys could see that but if you did <sighs> I'm just gonna be hard to edit this video but if you guys have a similar experience please comment down below and if you going through what I'm going through right now please share your story and tell me how you get through it because um obviously I feel as though I still get attention from the opposite sex and um I feel like I try to mask it like I'd be like laughing like I don't know if you guys see my videos but you guys see me laugh like <laughs> like that cuz I'm hiding I'm hide. I don't want you guys to see it. I'm like hiding that so it's like people don't ask some questions and um, my fiance Manny got used to it I don't even think it like he even knows half the time so I kind of like mask it around him too but I just can't wait for the day I can just go to the dentist's office hand them the money and they can you know wipe my teeth so yeah I would love to hear your similar stories if you're going through it um I'm still going through it and it's still tough for me it's tough making this video but I just had to do it because as you get older and as you get you know 
more subscribers here on YouTube, more views. People are going to see it. And I just want to establish it right now. So, yeah. <laughs> Thank you all for watching. Thanks for sticking by me, you guys. My Gensters are literally my support system. And you guys don't know it, but I do have bad days sometimes as far as what's going on with my family. And when I just go back to my channel, you guys comments. You guys literally lift me back up. So, thank you. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye!